can get on this vat. Hopefully it's something good. We've got ourselves a warrior. Watch this, guys. The warriors, that's right, when they hit, they cause a cryo effect. This is insane. Look how cool this is. Hello guys, this is Bill Cable back with another Boom Beach video and I've got something huge to show you guys. Um, we've actually got ourselves the Mega Crab early gameplay to show you guys. This is on the Boom Beach developer build. So this is not the full version and that's how I'm getting access to this early. So basically I'm going to be taking advice from my own video and we're going to be using the Scorcher Tank strategy. We've actually got a lot of boosted up um, statues here. They're all max statues so... You know, this is a little bit overkill. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what this Mega Crab has in store for us. So you guys are going to see this is the first stage. We're going to just be taking this thing down with GBE. We have 167 Gumbo Energy to play about with. We're just going to smash into that one. For you low-level low players, you guys might not be able to do that. But that's completely fine. Let's see what we can get into this second stage. Here is some Critter Bats. Flying Critters actually coming out the base. That's pretty cool. And let's have a look now. So we've cleared the first stage, we get our free attack, and let's go on to stage 2. We're going to be going up to probably around about stage 10 in this particular video. Um, so here we go. This is our first look at the soldier, um, super soldier vats. So um, there is a random chance of any of the troops coming out. You guys can see the little Dr. T critters. So we're going to be um, deploying the troops right on the beach. You guys can see there is speed serum. There is, you know, critter boxes. All the usual stuff in the game. So you guys are going to see here the first troop that comes out is a rifleman. And you guys will see the stats on the screen later on in the video of all of the, the stats of all of the super super troops. So you guys are going to see this thing here is unbelievable. The rifleman has like almost the same amount of health as like a scorcher and it does super super amount of damage it's really going to be you low level players they're going to be able to take advantage of these super soldier vats also i'm going to be using gbe to take one of them out when we get the chance and um, later on the g the the super soldier vats little boxes do take longer and longer to destroy I think they are influenced by the statues on the map, you know, the health statues. So, um, you know, it's not actually possible later on to, you know, maybe GBE them. You're actually going to have to go and get your troops over towards the Sol Super Soldier Vats and, you know, actually take them out that way. You guys are going to see what I mean here. So, if we have a look here, the, I'll use an artillery. It does nearly destroy it this time, but later on, it will take a lot longer. So let's have a look and see what this vat has in store for us. So we're going to get the troops in here and what's going to happen this time. So we're going to get ourselves another rifleman. See what if we can have a little couple of critters over here and see what is in store for us on this side. Hopefully we get a different type of soldier this time. Let's have a look what we're going to get. This time we've got a medic. We didn't get enough ch uh, time to actually show you what the medic does. It is super cool, guys. Um, I'll just tell you. Basically, it heals up the troops and it rages them at the same time. So you guys are honestly... And the, the, the medic has like 35,000 health. It's unbelievable, guys. We'll just take this base down quickly. We want to get to some, you know, to some... Um, to some super, super soldier VAT bases. So let's look here. Skip that. And um, for you guys, this is a lot of GBE. Come on. This is so much hype. I, uh, this is going to be so good. I, I can't wait to see what the higher level stages has in store for us. So we've got ourselves a lot of uh, VATs on this particular map. So um, if we go in here, get the Everspark in as well. And um, we're going to lay a couple of critters. Bearing in mind, there is critters that can come out of these VATs as well, guys. And the critters are super strong. Watch this. If we can get a critter out of this one, you guys are going to see the critters have like the same amount of health as like a tank. So we've got ourselves a medic and you guys can see the medic is boosting up our troops. This, look how fast the, the medic chucks as well. Super, super cool. We're going to go out here and we're going to lay two barrages, hopefully destroying this vat here. What we're going to get, we're going to get heavy. See these heavies? Look how much damage these heavies do on their own. Hopefully... 
um, you guys can see here, I'm going to just do one little flare and you guys can see that, that the troops that come out the vats are not influenced by flares. They almost go on by themselves. And you guys can see these heavies do a huge amount of damage and these splash damage the heavies are huge. You've seen that the heavy managed to hit that defense behind there, which was crazy. So we're going to take this out and see what we get on this particular one here. See what we can get on this vat. Hopefully it's something good. We've got ourselves a warrior. Watch this, guys. The warriors, that's right, when they hit, they cause a cryo effect. This is insane. Look how cool this is. And um, the normal critters are coming out here, but you can actually get a critter out of the big um, the big uh, super soldier vat, which is cool. Um, right, this is super, super cool. Um, let's go on to stage 7 and see what we can get on stage 7, see if we can get any other cool vats. Right, here we go. We're going to come right up the front here. We're actually going to take this out pre, um, have a look here. And we've got ourselves a Rifleman. The damage of this Rifleman, look how much damage this one Rifleman is taking. Unbelievable. It's taking cannon fire, mortar fire. And this is going to be the same for every level because it's not influenced by your own statues. So everybody's going to get these super soldiers. And we've got a couple of critters at the back. We'll just start taking this base out. And with all the GBE we've got, using Critter Swarms, using everything we have here. And it's going to be a blast to destroy this base, guys. Um, there is, at the end of the video, if you guys want to stick around, there will be a Excel spreadsheet of me showing you guys the health, the damage of all of the super soldiers that are, that are in the, the game. And that they, they, they stay the same throughout. We're actually going to retreat here, actually. It doesn't matter. I was going to uh, spectate and show you guys the health of these things, but we'll do it on the next base. So we're flying through this. We're going... This is the power of a couple of GBE. Watch this. We'll wipe through everything. Bang, 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 bang. Look at that, guys. But anyway, we're ripping through this. Let's take this out. Let's see what we get in this particular one here. What are we going to get here? We're going to get ourselves a warrior, so this is going to go ham. We're going to get a couple of critters to support the warrior out. And it's going to really do a lot of damage. It can actually regain a lot of health if it maintains a lot of hits. So if we can get a couple of um, critters to help it out, it should be a good thing. Go up here, let's see what we can get in this one. We've got ourselves a medic. If we can get the medic to support our... I wonder if the medic actually heals up other things. I'm not really sure how that works. You know, I was wondering if me the the medic actually heals up other super soldier vats. But look, this warrior is going ham by itself around the side because it can regain its health and it's super fast and it does a lot of damage. It is just so cool. This I can't wait to see high level gameplay in this and in you know how high level players get quite creative with things like this. So um. We're on to stage 9, we're going to be going on to stage 10 soon. Right, so we're going to be placing the troops again. Really, I'm not really doing any particular strategy because that is for my actual videos. We're just running through this, showing you gameplay. There's a little bit of a sneak peek of what kind of bases you guys are going to be expecting within this, this Mega Crab. So, we're going to be waiting to take them troops out here and we're just going to let a couple of critters round about. What are we going to get here with this particular VAT? We're going to get ourselves a Rifleman. Then the riflemen are probably my least favorite. It depends. It really depends on what kind of strategy you're using. Um, the medic is by far my favorite, guys. You guys are going to be seeing grenadiers, and you, you guys are going to be seeing um, the critters as well, which is going to be super cool. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it within this particular video, though, um, because we're only getting to stage ten. But we could, we could create a second video for you guys tomorrow if you guys want to see that. Um, or just, maybe, well, tomorrow is actually, yeah, you, we'll make another uh, video of later stages within the Mercrab. Um, so stay tuned in the channel, subscribe. It's going to be a real, real good blast. So here we go. We've got a couple of vats here. We're going to be taking them out straight away. A couple of GBE in there. But we're not really doing any particular strategy here. We're just placing the troops down. They're super easy anyway at the start. So we've got a medic and a heavy. So this is going to be super cool. The, the heavy alone is just doing so much damage. It is ridiculous. So we're just going to be placing... We didn't, we didn't even lay our hero down here, guys. Um. So what's this fat going to give us? 
This vat's going to give us the warrior again. That is super, super good. And we've got the medic. We've got so much here. I'm actually going to regroup all of our troops up so we can at least let the super soldiers do their work themselves. So if we actually flare, if we flare all of our troops into this corner, guys, and let these, you know, the super soldiers and stuff do their work themselves, um, obviously the medic's going to stay with our troops, but this heavy can do work. The You guys are going to see that the, the warrior can hold its own. Um, look at this, they're just one-shotting everything. It's just ridiculous, guys. So we'll just GBE finish the base and... The medic actually supported that the whole way, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, that's stage ten. That is all um, ten stages. We might do. We'll do. We'll do one more stage. I want to get the grenadiers, guys. I want to show you the grenadiers um, in this one video. So if we can actually just get them to come out, which would be a really nice. Um, so we've got the medic again. We're just gonna pop the troops here. Um, more. GBE into here. Hopefully we can get another one. Another medic. It's not too bad. See, look, watch this, guys. Look how much fire these medics can sustain. So literally, they can run right through, really do anything you want. And now we've got two super medics on our scorchers. And see these guys? They will walk through the base quite happily. And um, we're going to go up here and see what we can get with this GB up here. Two warriors. We're going to get a couple of um, critters up there to support as well. Critters to take that out. We've got to still haven't laid our ever spark, which is super annoying. Um, and you guys are gonna see we're just gonna start going onto the base. The these two medics supporting the troops is ridiculous, guys. The medic, you know, it's like I don't. I, that that should be like a combo, like a rage scorcher like strategy. And we've got these warriors coming in as well. The damage that we're outputting at the moment is ridiculous. Look at this, guys. Look how cool this looks. They're actually... The medics are healing up. They, they must drop an effect and everything in the area gets a boost, even the critters. So the critters can be affected by the medics, which is super cool. Um, Stage 12, stage 12. We're literally going a little bit further than I anticipated, but we just want to see them grenadiers. So we'll get all the troops down first, let them go. We're going to do... See, You guys are going to see these are taking a lot longer to destroy now. So they are scaling up with the health of the, the the base. So here we go. We've got ourselves another heavy. Heavies are good. Um, go over here. Take this out. Hopefully take it out at least. There we go. We've got ourselves another warrior. So we're not going to be taking this one down. But we're just walking through these bases, guys. A um, couple of critters up there. I wonder if we just like flare straight onto the base. That will like rip the base up. In fact, we're going to do that. We're going, once these critters have just did their work, we're going to be flaring straight onto the base and seeing what we can do. Obviously, the super soldier vatted um, warrior will not do anything, but we're onto the base. The power of this troop combo is going to burn the base down super fast so we haven't actually lost a troop yet and this is expected because i've got maxed level um you know offensive statues fully boosted i think a lot of really high level players will have this as well though so it's not that unrealistic so yeah we're getting a lot of loot as well within this particular but this is the dev build so it's not going to really matter anyway um right come on we can get something here hopefully we get grenadiers i'm hoping guys look at these cool little base designs um gonna go up for this one here hopefully we get the grenadier come on come on come on we got ourselves a critter here we go we got the ultimate critter watch this look look at this guys it's a one big flying critter that has huge amounts of health and this it can just rip up by itself so we're going to help we're actually going to support this with a lot of critters ourselves so this critter corner is going to be cool um, and we got ourselves a medic in that box. That's going to be fine though. So we're going to... this. this look, look at this. This one flying medic is still... This one flying critter is still alive. And it look, it like it like chews into the, the, the defenses, which is really cool. Get more critters away. And then from here, we're just going to flare straight onto the base. 
More critters. Look at all these critters that are piling up. This is ridiculous. This is overkill, guys. This one is still alive, guys. Look at this. Can we heal it up? That's the question. We can. I think we can heal up. No, we can't. No, we can. We can heal up with medics. That is so cool. Medkits can heal it up. Oh, my goodness, guys. Right. Come on. Please. I'm begging. Please. Can we get it? I should really place the troops down first. Right, come on, Grenadier. We want you. Now. No, we got the medic. That's okay, though. That's okay. It's fine. A couple of critters over here. Right, okay. That's fine. Right, we've got a lot of super soldier vats this time. Hopefully we can get it this time. Come on. No, we got medic again. Okay, uh, my medic is my favourite, so I don't mind that. Um, oh, we need to get our ever spark. I'm forgetting to lay every single game. Right, medic again. Up here this time. Can we get the medic? Can we try and not get the medic, please? Or is this going to be a full medic base? A medic again. So we're going to get like a full medic, and they're going to really, to be honest, they're going to support us super nicely anyway. Um, the medic is. Yeah, they can heal themselves up. So, once the medics are combined together, and they, like, rage themselves, which rages them even further, it just goes, it's just ridiculous. So we're just going to flare onto the base, get a couple of barrage artilleries onto the base, and we're obviously going to be able to take this one down. Hopefully, yep. Yep, we're going to take this one down. Stage 14 drops. This is a pretty long video, guys. We will be showing these stats at the end of the video of all the troops. If you guys want to stick around for that. Um, right. Come on. Stage 15, please. Right, let's go. All the way through. Got a lot of cryo bombs on the right hand side here. Um, we've got a super soldier vat here. Get our hero down. We shouldn't have really did this. We're gonna get our, we're gonna actually end up freezing our own troops. Right, come on. Let them critters take that vat down. This is the moment of truth, guys. Are we gonna get it? No. <laughs> we might have to end the video. Um so we're just gonna take this one down and see. Hopefully the lucky one. This is gonna be the last one, guys. And we didn't guess it. So, um, there will be gameplay. I will make another video to show you guys what the Grenadiers do. Um, they are basically just huge damage dealer monsters, basically. So, basically, hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, this is going to be so cool. I know you guys are going to be excited for this. But, yep, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos, guys. Everything Mega Crab, everything Boom Beach. And I'll see you guys next time. Actually, you're not going to be seeing you guys next time. You guys are going to be seeing a video that I pre-recorded of the Excel spreadsheet of the troops. That is what you guys are going to be seeing next. Right, guys, let's have a look at the stats of the super soldiers. And you guys can see here we've got the rifleman, medic, warrior, heavy, drone is actually the critters, and the grenadiers. So if we have a look here at the health, the speed of these troops is obviously how fast they run. And the critter is obviously going to be the fastest, and medic pretty fast. Um, the warrior is pretty good as well. So you guys can see they're pretty much the same speed as the original uh, versions of the troops. You guys can see their hit points. This is their health. This is huge amount of health, guys. You guys can compare the health of your normal troops. And I think a Scorchers, I'm not I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say a max Scorchers, maybe 25,000. I don't, don't keep that. Um, but if you guys have a look here, unbelievable limit of health for these guys. A rifleman has the least health. A drone is a critter, and a, dr a critter has the same amount of health as, like, oh, guys, it's crazy. So, yeah, look at this. This is ridiculous. So, uh, training time, ignore this one here. Um, let's have a look. Training cost, ignore this one here. Um, upgrade time, ignore that. Uh, upgrade cost, ignore that. <laughs> Um, max range, right, this is the range of the troops, obviously, um, we've got the medic and the heavy, I don't know why some of these ranges are not showing as well, these are the max attack ranges, that's what we want to see, so you guys can see that the critter has a very small attack range, the, these attack ranges are pretty much the same as the normal 
uh, attack ranges for troops so we'll just ignore that one um, the attack rate, right? The attack rate is the obviously the rate of fire. Now the warrior is the fastest, as you guys will probably have noticed. The warrior is hitting super fast. The medics as well, and the grenadier. So yeah, this is a pretty good um, kind of guideline here. If we go along a little bit more, I'm just going to keep pulling these in so we can at least keep the things at the side. If we have a look. We got the shot reload. Ignore that. Ignore that. The damage, right, obviously it's, this one has minus 240, this is because it's obviously healing 240 health, which is a lot of health guys, and as you guys know, the medic also rages the troops up, which is really cool, and the obviously warriors crying here, um, the stuff, and you guys can see that the damage here, the grenaders are doing huge amounts of damage, um, for these grenadiers to hit things, it is ridiculous. Um, obviously, the leech health is getting 650 health per hit for the warrior, which is crazy, guys. So we'll just speed this up. You guys can have a look and pause whatever you get, you want for these particular stats. I'll just scroll through them and you guys can have a look and see all these stats here. You guys can see the damage radius. Friendly fire is true, so the, the grenadiers do actually have friendly fire.